Hello everyone, welcome to our channel and today, as I promised you, we are going to talk about maintenance of fashion reel. The fashion reel is Shimano Ultra 14000X Tini. So, this reel looks very very good, but the fish use it very and very actively, but it looks really good. So, we need to make a maintenance of this reel, because every reel needs maintenance. So, let's disassemble it and look at the condition. So, firstly, we need to reel off this handle, we need to unscrew the handle. So, this handle is quite good, the condition of it is quite good. So all we know, we need a little bit to do something with it. Now we need to unscrew the friction clutch. This is a friction clutch and we need just to unscrew it. So I want to say one very interesting thing about this reel. If you buy this reel, I really advise you to unscrew the friction clutch and change, absolutely, you need to change the grease of this friction clutch, because when it's on the... So when it was produced, the grease is really thin, but you need a little bit thinner, thinner, thin, and because it, it can work now correctly. So this is only about this model. I really advise you to do it. Just do it. So we disassemble the fri friction brake quite easily. We need to choke the friction clutch off. The owner of this reel has already done this. But I can see that there is some drops of water on this thing. Maybe this reel was under the rain or something like that. Or maybe this is the grease. We'll wash it all now. The shims are not very good here. They are felt and some metal. So we need to put it off. We need to put our underpin off. This is protection of our fishing line. And you've asked me, do we actually need this protection? Do we need to buy it if we don't have it? What's the benefits of it? Yes, I've answered these questions, but I'd like to tell you one more time. The thing is that from my experience, the nine can get into the place between them and there is no useful fence of the protection. It can be used without it. And I don't think that it's really necessary to buy it. There is nothing too good to buy it. It's not the best thing for buying. And also, it makes some more weight. I don't know, do you need it or you need it, you choose it yourself. But firstly, just don't think that you absolutely need to buy it. We can see the stopper in here. We need to take it off. This chopper needs to be taken off. Taken off. We've done it. This one. So we need to wash it too. Now we need to unscrew the nut. But before unscrew the rotor, I want you to listen to the noise. We can hear, and it will be a strange noise here. Maybe you can't, but I hear it good. 
this is quite a little bit metal noise. I think this noise is from from something metal. I don't know exactly still, but there is something here. Just because the grease on the bearings has dried. It's on the bearings. The noise is from bearings, I think so. So we need to unscrew the nut. We need the key head for summoning. We are doing it. We need to do it clockwise. So we unscrewed the nut, then took the rudder off. We see here a huge stopper. We need to unscrew it too. I can see some drops of water or grease here. You can see it too. It really looks like water. Probably the reel was under the rain. Maybe it was in the water. Yes, yeah, there is water here. Before unscrewing this reel, I'd like to unscrew the rotor. Look at the conditions of it. So, let's know how it works. It works quite good. This rudder works quite good. Let's look at the condition. The inside condition is quite good. So, and what's about this one? I can say everything is quite good. So, we don't have a bearing here. Then we need to unscrew the screw. Okay, I can see the grease here. Maybe it's original grease. Original lubricant. So this, everything is quite good too. This is box release mechanism. So we are continue unscrewing this reel. Firstly, we need to unscrew the four screws. Remember the location of the screws because they are different. They have different sides. One is more longer than three others. Remember the location of them. So now we need to choke the rubber ring off. Now let's open the case. Don't forget to remove the bottom cover to be available to open the case. So we so we can see here very very big gear gear so this is very strong reel took this bearing off and took the gear off so look at this condition now I'd like to show you what's going on when we have extra grease you can see that we don't have grease here, but all the grease is inside part of it, inside side of our gear. So all this is extra, is extra grease. So I want to say, if you will use more extra grease, if you will use more grease, it will not be useful at all. So you don't need very 
more grease. But I can see that it's not very good. It knows all these properties. It's very bad. It can't be used anymore. Of course, it looks not so bad, but it doesn't work properly. So we can see extra grease here, but it's a mistake. It doesn't have to be here. It's on another details. If this thing will get onto your stalk, it will stop your reading, will stop your fishing reel. So don't use so much grease. You can see that our gear is almost dry and this is quite dry too. So that's to disable the stopper. You can see our running clutch here. We'll disassemble it a little bit later too. Now we need to disassemble the snack. We need to put the gates off. So, don't took it off this way. Because you can scratch it. You don't have to put your secondary gear this way. You just scratch it. And it's really bad. Don't do that. So, it's better to do it another way. I'm going to show you what way it is. So, we can see that... We can see that our screws are not strongly twisted. We took the stock off. Now, it was taken off very good. It's not gonna be scratched now. But, in the end of it, it can't be. Don't try to do that. Don't try to put it off in another way. Because you will just scratch something. So, don't do that. I really advise you not to do that. So let's look at the condition of the snock. It's quite good. Yeah, it's quite good. And what's about this one? The secondary gear is good too. I think everything is right here. Because our fishing reel is quite expensive, it's not cheap. Now we only need to get the snag off and also two gears. So don't forget that we have bearing here for taking the snag and gears off. We need to unscrew two screws because they're holding past in. So, you can see how we are doing it. Just look, unscrew, one screw, took the gate off, it just closed gate. Okay, also unscrew to another screws that it holds best in and took another gates. 
then just took it off. This names this is stack mechanism. The snack is covered with very resistance coating. It just increases the degree of snipping. It will protect it. This will protect your snack. It made when it was produced. We have plastic thing here. Instead of this plastic sleeve, we can use bearing. So the same, the same thing, the same sleeve we have in another part. If you want to do it, of course. So just we are taking it off. You can see. Our fishing reel is almost ready. We only need to put the bearing off and our case can be sent for washing. So let's look at the carriage. We need to put the screw off. The screw just takes our merry thought. Merry thought. So this is this is Mary thought. Everything is going to be washed. Now it's time for our running clutch. Unscrew two black screws. Open our our running clutch. Let's look at the condition of it. So our runners are quite good, our runners bearings, but there is no, no, just, it's strange, but there is no grease on it. We don't have any grease on it, it's really bad. Some places are absolutely dry. I think because of weight, we had noise. Just because of it, because we we just didn't have any, didn't have any grease. Try not to. Try not to. You need absolutely to look for, just look for your sprints because you will not be able to buy them. They are quite rare. So I'm gonna to wash it all and dry it all. So we've done everything, we've washed it and we've dried it. As usual, we will start with the rotor. So let's put everything on it. Put the rotor on it and another thing. So we need to friction effect to make the friction effect be p smaller by greasing it. Also we need to grease our shafts. Put boring these mechanism on its place and just close it with its case. Now grease, grease our lever arm. We 
we're putting it here. We need to fix it with help of screw. Let's check it. Yeah, everything is working. Everything is quite good working. So we need to gather this the second half and first new we need to grease the places. So we need to fix it too. Screw it. Now we need to put our runner here, but firstly we need to grease it too, because we don't have baron here, we will grease it with the thinnest grease. We need to take liquid oil and let's grease it well. Just you need a liquid oil, don't forget. We are doing it, you can see. So we absolutely need to liquid this part because we don't have wearing hair. You have to you have to use liquid oil and you need to do it quite often. But you don't have to put here only just oil, only just oil. Use only special oil. As I've already told you, we don't have wearing here. We're going to check this runner. This works very good without any accidents. So it has to be this way. It has to be always the same condition. I've already done this thing. I've already done our, our, our running crunch. Now let's continue making our runner, we need to grease our gears. We have four gears, the main one, the secondary one and other gears. I will grease everything by the grease of the firm Shimano. It's used for greasing, rolling, Rinins. I recommend you to use this grease because curb sessions are quite known and in two or three days the weather will change and your reading will get more and more So we need to put grease here. You can do it this way or another. You will do, you have to do it as much as you used to. You don't have to use too much grease of it. Just not don't use too much. We are doing it here, you can see. We have greased it. So the same way we have to grease the secondary gear. It's more than enough. 
we will have we will have thin panico and don't use too much grease. You don't need it at all. So we also need to grid another gears gears and two plastic gears. We need to grease them too because they works with other gears. We are greasing in the same grease because they are contact together. We've greased our main main gears and now we need to grease snack. I will grease it with another grease. It's just soft grease. It's quite good for this thing. It will keep here quite good enough snack. It very good protects our snack from water. It's, it almost doesn't have any color, it doesn't have any smell or something. Okay, we've greased our snack. Now, we're going to start with snack mechanism. the snack and the gear we need to put it here you can see okay so put it on its places put it on their places okay we've done that We've put it on its place. Now, on this part, we need to put here this thing. We need to put here this thing. We need to grease it too. We need to put our sleeve here, the sleeve on this place, and in this side we need to put the second sleeve here. We need to grease it too. I grease them by easy grease, because you don't need much or very much greasing. It's quite good. Okay, we've almost done it. We've put them here on their places. So we will continue putting our gears here inside our fishing reel. So let's put our gear here in our shaft. So you can see everything is working. Everything is absolutely working. Now we need to put here the last one, the last gear. There on their places, everything is working. Just look at it. Now we need to put our carriage on its place and two gears. So we are putting our one git here and the other one here, you can see. Now we need to fix these gates. Not to let them run away. <laughs> so as we remember, they were fixed by a plastic thing. It doesn't let them 
to get out our keys. Now we need to put here. We need to put here our merry thought. We need first to grease it. So we need to grease this thing too. We're putting it on its place. So everything is ready. It's on its place. We need to fix it. Just... We need to... Grease our screw with thread retainer and then we screw it here. So we fixed it on its place. That's ready. Now we need to grease our inside part of our secondary gear. But there is very interesting thing. In this thing, there's interesting thing. Yeah. If you will look inside it, you will see these grooves inside it. Why do we need it? What do you think? So I'll answer your question right now. And they are here too. We use them only for our grease. When we grease it inside, some part of grease are in our grooves. And it will always be there. Because this stock always need being grooves. Being grease, I'm sorry. I bet. So, we need to take our tassel and put grease here, inside there, but we need to use liquid oil, a liquid grease oil. So, just don't put so much grease there, because if it will get in stock, your reading will Stop sometimes. You'll fail it. I'm sure. Don't use so much grief. Grease. No grief. So firstly we need to put our bearing here. So we are putting it in this place. It also names pinion or the secondary gear. We need to put our bearing here. So our construction is almost ready. You can see it's working. It's already working. Now we need to put our stopper here, momentum stopper. We check that all things are inside, that all the knaves are inside. We put it on this place. So we need to fix it by screws. screws. We need to screw our overrunning clutch. We tighten it, but you need to do it equally. Control it well, not to break something. Be careful with it. We need to grieve, to grease our, um, to grease our shaft. We are doing it. We are doing it the same grief. Grease. I'm sorry, my bad. So we are greasing it. We don't need very much grease. We are putting it here. 
you just need a very thin panicle on the surface of it. So everything is working. Oh, my mental stopper is working greatly. So everything is working now. And now we need to put our stock on its place. We need to grease it a little bit. So, we are doing it, you can see, that it was put inside our reel without any bad things, and it wasn't scratched. So now, we need to fix our stock by two screws. We need to put on thread retainer and then we screw it inside inside the stock. So the same thing with the second screw. We need to tighten it well. So, we only need to put our main, our main gear inside on its place. And we need to close this construction by its cover, by its case. Pay attention on the bearings that are inside our case, inside our camera, because they are different and they have different they're different for every fishing reel so we are putting them here we need to grease them too don't forget to grease them and then we can close it with our cover Don't forget about the location of screws because they have different locations. We need to screw to screw not but not too much because <laughs> you can just broke it if you will screw it so much. Don't forget about this serene. It's made from rubber. It's rubbering. It's rubber in the rain. Now we can put rudder on its place and we don't have any noise, we don't listen to any noise because there's no noise. We can't hear any noise here. So we've done, we've got out the noise. Yeah, that's quiet, that's good, we did it. Yeah, I think it was because of dried, because of dried stopper, and because of that bearings that was dried, that had the noise. So this is metal. Because of the metal, now put it here, and then we're screwing it. Yeah, there is no noise. No noise at all. Now we need only to make to make the back part of our fishing reel. Now so we need only to we need to to grease the Shims of friction. So now 
This is original grease that's used for them, but it's not. Don't use it. You can see that it's very stiff. Oh, it's very stiff. It's too stiff for shims. Just don't use it. So, and here is the different sheaf. The different grease, my bad. It's not see so much, it's American grease. And I'm gonna to use this one. I advise you to use this one too. It's used for these details. This is very good. It doesn't have any color and taste. So, let's grease it. Let's grease our shims. We have found shims. After drying these found shims, they look like cracks. I really advise you to change this this friction packet, but much better. Just maybe you can change these shims and it depends on what you will find. I can feel that these shims are quite bad. Earnestly. They look very bad. They almost nosed their four. So now we need to... We've greased all of our shims. Now put another. Then you have to do it this way. I don't like these fell shims. They're quite bad. They look quite bad. I absolutely recommend you to change them. Absolutely. Just change them. Don't save money on it. Change your shims because they they looks very very sick and now sick they looks very weak actually so we've done our fishing reel we need to put it on its place so we've tightened everything so let's check if everything working if is everything working Everything is working greatly. Very good. Excellent. Perfect. So, it was main tents of fishing reel of the firm Shimano Altagra 14,000 XD. If you will have any comments, leave them in the comment section below, or you can visit our forum. You can find many interesting news there, many interesting things there. You can ask things there, we can discuss something there. Everything you need, you will find there. Just look at our forum. Because you will not be able to find as much material as we have on our forum. Also, we have also social medias, you will find them of course, you'll find them in the description section, but absolutely visit our forum. Just go, register then, or log in, and maybe I'll make some contents there, and you'll win some interesting things. I think you'll like it. So that's all. Good luck. Goodbye.